Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix anime series BNA, so let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. The existence of humanoid animals that have been living in the darkness for centuries has been revealed to the world. BNA stands for Brand New Animal. And this is a new Netflix anime series that consists of 12 episodes which I've been finding is the average length for an anime series on Netflix. I was really looking forward to this. We've been getting some pretty good anime series this year. We had uh, Beastars, which I thought was really good. Kind of felt a little bit similar to this. And throughout history, humans have been at odds with Beastmen, a species capable of changing shape due to their genetic beast factor. Because of this conflict, Beastmen have been forced into hiding. Anima City serves as a safe haven for those oppressed individuals to live free from human interference. This series does a lot within its 12 episodes. I feel like it covers racism and oppression and activism as well, while also managing to have a mysterious plot thrown throughout. We are introduced to Michiru, who is a human that has turned into an animal and she finds Anima City, there she seeks shelter, and there she could live her life and not be worried about being hunted down. Anima City is celebrating 10 years of being there and all the animals living there freely, but there is a big mystery after the reveal of where they are at, and there's a mystery with the humans as well. I felt like there was a pretty good conflict amongst the humans and the animals, and developing it throughout the 12 episodes. There is a mystery of the silver wolf, and the humans, and this company as well. I think it was all integrated nicely into the series and leaving you interested throughout while also watching the journey of Michiru and her discovering things about herself as well. Michiru is a really likable character. The animation for her really works. She's a really lighthearted character while also the being determined as well, working alongside Shiru, a indestructible wolf and sworn protector of all beastmen. There's a bombing that had happened in Anima City and the two are investigating that. They have a really good relationship throughout and there's a lot of progression for each one of them, which I did appreciate. And at the end of it, I thought that Michiru and Shiru were both really interesting characters and there's a lot of writing going into them. I think the 12 episodes really do benefit from allowing the characters to grow. Now there are some filler episodes. I think some people may see as just filler episodes and not really adding much to the plot. And also there's an argument that it's developing Anima City. This world definitely feels lived in and I like the world building within it. There are some episodes in the middle half dedicated to sports like baseball and how Michiru is involved with that and utilizing her unique animal skills to play baseball. So I thought this filler episode was great because I love baseball, but it was cool to see her do other things besides investigating and also building the world of Anima City and the hobbies that they have in the sports as well. So I thought those were pretty cool episodes. But I could totally see why people might think that they're just filler episodes. The series also looks really good. It's got a tint of blue and pink for it. Sometimes it eases up on those colors, but I noticed throughout it's got a color of blue and pink. I think it works well for this series, and it's a really good animated series. You have a lot of different animals and their unique abilities, and they're learning things about themselves, and different powers come out throughout the series. There is a, there's a lot of different things that the animals and humans do in here, and definitely captures it well with the anime style. Like I said, there is a theme of racism and oppression and activism as well. The animals do feel oppressed and they feel isolated with throughout the series and they are living in Anima City for the last 10 years. The humans don't like being around the animals and they have certain views towards them 
and the animals are working to kind of change that. And there's storylines with what the humans are trying to do to the animals and change the way the animals look. I thought those elements to the series was handled well, it, while also integrating that into the mysterious plot between the humans and the animals as well, while also trying to keep it fun and entertaining. I feel like BNA did a lot within its 12 episodes that managed to be fun, managed to have a good message, and managed to be a mysterious story as well. Fairly violent at times, there's some blood within the series, but I think it managed to be an overall a really good anime series. I'm going to go ahead and give B and A a B. Thank you guys for your review for B and A, our brand new animal, a new Netflix original anime series. Let me know what you thought about the series in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming Netflix content. My name is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.